Remember, remember the 5th of November. So once again, Bonfire Night is upon us, and here at Sonny's List of Things, I see no good reason to forget this evening of explosive fun and drama. That's right, Guy Fawkes Night is here, and that means fireworks, sparklers, and tasty treats. But do any of you know the reason why we celebrate Bonfire Night? The 5th of November marks the evening when Guy Fawkes and his other co-conspirators plan to blow up the Houses of Parliament back in 1605. Here I have put together a little list of facts that will help make sure that your knowledge is up to scratch, so that in between all the whizzes, pops and bangs, you'll be able to impress or annoy all your friends. So sit back and relax as we go through some fun facts about Guy Fawkes at night and Guy Fawkes that you may not know. So the first fact is that the gunpowder plot of 1605 was meant to kill the Protestant King James I and replace him with a Catholic Queen. You see, Catholic dissident Guy Fawkes spent months with his 12 co-conspirators planning to blow up King James I of England during the opening of Parliament on the 5th of November 1605. But Guy Fawkes, the one left guarding the 36 barrels of gunpowder in the cellar underneath the Houses of Parliament, was caught red-handed and the assassination attempt was foiled. The plan to take out the Protestant King and replace him with a Catholic Queen was over. It was actually Warwickshire-born Robert Catesby who led the gunpowder plot and not Guy Fawkes. The other co-conspirators were Thomas and Robert Winter, Thomas Percy, John and Christopher Wright, Francis Tresham, Robert Keyes, John Grant, Thomas Bates, Ambrose Rookwood and Sir Everard Digby. The second fact of the night, it was once illegal not to celebrate Bonfire Night. So up until 1959, it was actually illegal not to celebrate Bonfire Night in Britain. During this time, there was however one place in the UK that flat out refused to celebrate the failed attempt on the Houses of Parliament, and that was none other than St Peter's School in York. It was a school that Guy Fawkes attended, and in respect to their alumni, the school was excused from burning any kind of effigy of its former pupil. However, during the First and Second World Wars, no one was allowed to set off fireworks or light bonfires. During these periods, Bonfire Night was celebrated indoors to protect the people by not showing the enemy where they were. Fun Fact 3 is about the letter that gave it all up. An anonymous letter was sent to Lord Monteagle about the gunpowder plot. It was sent to warn him not to attend Parliament that day and stay safe. If it hadn't been for that one little letter, the whole plot would have gone ahead and the House of Parliament would have been blown to pieces. Fun Fact 4 is about how Guy Fawkes avoided traditional punishment. Guy Fawkes' job as an explosives expert was to guard the 36 barrels of gunpowder that had been placed in a basement underneath the House of Lords. He had been left in the cellar to set the fuse but was subsequently caught when a group of guards found him at the last moment on November 5th. The game was up and Guy Fawkes was arrested and taken to the Tower of London to be imprisoned and interrogated. That's actually code for torture. But he wasn't hung, drawn and quartered as is widely reported, even though this 
method of torture was all the rage in the 1600s England. To avoid the horrors of torture, he actually leapt from the gallows and died of a broken neck. Although he avoided being castrated and disemboweled while still alive, his corpse was nonetheless quartered. Fun fact number five is how the Houses of Parliament are still searched to this day. Just in case anybody tries to take a leaf out of Guy Fawkes' book, the Houses of Parliament are still searched by the Yeoman of the Guard before the state opening, where the reigning monarch visits Parliament each year. It's ceremonial rather than serious and is still conducted with lanterns. The actual cellar that Fawkes and the gunpowder plossums used was damaged in 1834 by fire, so when the Palace of Westminster was rebuilt in the 19th century, the infamous cellar was destroyed. So there you are, five fun facts to keep you going through fireworks night. If you have any interesting facts of your own about Bonfire Night, then be sure to let me know down in the comment section. I really hope that you enjoyed the video. If you did, then please remember to hit the like button. And if you haven't already, then please consider subscribing to the channel with notifications turned on so that you can be the first to see new videos as they drop. And remember, whether you're celebrating at home or at a large event, keep yourself wrapped up warm, stay safe, and most of all, have a fantastic time. Until the next time, see you later.